So, here we are with Lee Good from Hartek, which is the gentleman that puts the engines together. So, why am I here at Hartek, Lee? Oh, you're getting treated to one of our 4.1 engines, aren't you? With some fancy heads on that you've been playing with. Yep. And we're gonna... So, we're going to see what we can get out of it. Um, as you guys might have seen on our social media, we started working together with Hardtech, um, doing some development together, and uh, now it came the, po the time to put like the heads we have developed on an engine they have developed, proper tested, because at the moment we still don't know what my engine is. So no, it's we don't have uh, three nine, three eight. It's like it's fast as it is, but that's the thing that me and Lee been talking. Imagine if it was a Hardtech <laughs> engine. Isn't it? Yeah, but I don't think it is. Yeah. So it's, we'll not anyway. hard tech, it's not a hard tech engine, that's for sure. We'll see. So the, the, the reason for me saying this is when I first uh, had the car dyno, where hard tech always takes the cars to be dyno, the least, the, the least amount of power they ever see on that dyno, on their 3.9, conversions is 350 HP. Our one was 338 at the time. So that tells me straight away it's, it's not, not something ride, that it, because it's too much of a difference to mm -hmm. uh, to to see on a car, especially on an engine that is that new. Yeah, um, yeah. It's uh, something that I've actually been looking forward to. I didn't expect the heads to go on the four one. We're actually going to put it in our one, but because we don't know what we're going to find and we don't know if the job is going to multiply, uh, Hartek suggested to fit the heads on one of their full build uh, four point one, which is a proven recipe um, and now the development we've done on the heads it was something that it was made to be like a bolt-on on regardless if it's a 3.8, 3.9 or 4.1 so they will work hopefully um, yeah, be interesting to along with, with our plenum and everything so Lee what, what is like the biggest difference you see like on the engines you build to everyone else? Just, uh, well our, our cylinders are better different than everybody else's more support this 4.1 you've got in so you're starting with 102.6 mil bore Kirillo rods in it as well because we all know how you like to rev things me revving things guys can yeah, you see this yeah <laughs> and you do realize if you blow me engine up i will find you <laughs> i'm hiding now <laughs> yeah no so that's the thing is it's tried and tested the engines are bulletproof until you get out of them probably no, like uh, I'm not known from blowing engines. My audience knows that. I like to make the most usable power band, so not yeah. necessarily revving them no. where they don't need to go, like some people do. Mm -hmm. So we will rev it where it needs to be revved, never pass yeah. what it needs. And like we have also a comfort zone. We don't like to go and cross because at the end of the day, as much as this is all fun and games, blowing one of these is no fun, and the cost on them is very high. So. We don't want to have all of a sudden uh, a very large build to rebuild another one when we first had a very good engine to start with. There's no point of uh, no. going past that. If it was a cheap engine, easy to get, yeah. it would be different. But on something Fort like Fiesta. this, Fort yeah. Fiesta, it's, yeah, it's easy. You, like you mentioned, we have ten grand engine. So yeah, so it's more than ten grand. Now, Probably now we want. They are. Head, I was looking. Uh, no, even a stock one, mm. they have seen them selling for over 10 grand on eBay. 12 grand was the cheapest 3.8 I found. Right. Okay. Um, so that's how much they're going for. And uh, even if it was 5 grand, it was still quite a bit to waste. So a big chunk of money to throw away. Yeah, yeah, especially as you said now, you know how much I've spent on the heads, yep, time yep. and money. Time and money, yeah. Um, so it's like we want it to work, we want to be reliable. And the reason why we are working with Hartek. I know the problems the M97s have and there's no point of me developing a good product to an engine that I know is going to have an issue. And even if the engine has an issue, I can always guide the customer to go to Hardtech to have the engine built because it's like it's proven recipe, it's tried and tested. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, back to this, overall I'm very excited about uh, this uh, this that is going on the car. Mm -hmm. And now I should have the key down. Not to Lee. Lee no, has done his key. part. He built the engine for me. Thank you, Lee. No, you're welcome. 
Uh, I will not blow it up, I promise. You better not. <laughs> I got an eye if I did. Have you seen his size? <laughs> now I'm going to have the key to tips. If you guys ever come down, very nice guy to, to, to be with as well. So that is it. Look after it. We will, always. Yeah, and you look after it as well when you get it back. Yeah. Oh, we will. Likewise. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. See you later. So, this gentleman beside me now is Julian. And uh, Julian, what's your job at Hartek? I'm the technical engineering manager. I, I work with the big man Barry Hart, so we work together on various projects, uh, engine based and, and other parts of the car as well. Well, so you know it. And uh, me and uh, Julian uh, actually spent a lot of time together recently oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the developments we, we're doing in conjunction. Um, which has been quite good because we're all learning. Um, I'm learning with Julian, Julian yeah, yeah. is learning oh, with definitely. me, but we together are reaching better level, better skill. Yeah. Um, so all of this in order to improve our forces that are so close to our heart, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. The, the, the benefits uh, have been great. Like in such a short time, we've achieved so many great things, definitely. Yeah, so I think uh, most of you know the way I like to, to work and tune. Um, I just want to bring, bring that same level of tuning to the to Porsche scene. I'm not saying like no one does it, but uh, I don't see it being something that is acc accessible to, to public. Um, or I haven't even seen uh, people approaching it the way I, appro I approach it. Uh, this is why we have seen very good results. We started with an engine that made the... We, we, as I said previously, I still don't know what size the engine is. Um, you know, like uh, Julian knows, when I first came in, I said, I, I'm not sure this is a 3.9. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we still don't know today. We're going to find out yeah. soon, because now we're going to put the 4.1, but this engine that is in the car is going to be open, inspected, yeah. and see what it is exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you a lot more about it, definitely. Yeah. So, but my one, even with an engine that started with a lot less power, was already very different from what a, a normal one would be. Um, because of the development we put together. This is all prototyping at the moment, so we're still working through in improving the design, but there's a lot of data me and Julian have gone through to analyze and seeing what the engine is doing, what is receiving, what's going in and out. And actually today we start already playing a little bit with the, an up, another upcoming project, yeah, yeah, which definitely. is the, the newer stuff, but uh, every everything at its time. Very exciting times indeed, oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. I can see like, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Fun, but it's a lot of work. You guys don't understand how oh, yeah, many yeah. hours we have to spend yeah. in order to get the the numbers we want. It's not only just uh, dyno, because uh, like, I don't leave just off the dyno, even though whatever power and torque a car puts out, it's very important. That's actually what makes the car fast. But it's what's happening as it's developing its power. Um, so it's making sure like it drives well uh, and performs well it's this is what we're trying to aim like and we want to deliver something that makes more power and torque everywhere not just a picky engine um, something that holds the power better this is our 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 genuine aim on the way we want to deliver the power um, so that is it I'm really looking forward to have the 4.1 installed on the car um, and I'm sure Julian is very looking forward to try the 4.1 with our bits. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, your engine as it is now, even though we're not 100% sure what capacity it is, uh, with our 4.1 and your tuning capabilities, it's going to be very, very exciting. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not boring driving your car as it is now, so with even more power and torque, it's yeah. going to be brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's, I would agree with that. Um, <laughs> But the problem is I got used to the power it had already. So at the beginning it felt very fast, now it was just feeling really normal. Um, but like I'm sure with the 4.1 and the ported heads, it's going to be different again. So we'll keep you guys posted and do another video update as soon as I come and collect the car. We're going to go from uh, Hartek, we're going to go to have the car on the dyno again, on the same dyno, not our one, because our one doesn't cope well with these power levels. Um, and this year is going to be recalibrated as well, so we're going to kill two birds in one stone. Um, because again, it's not just things are never bolt on, this year has to be calibrated for them to work well 
if it's the right part installed. Anyway guys, it's been lovely to have you with me. Have a good evening, good day, whatever it might be. Stay safe. It's okay.